Do you want to know the basics of bar charts in Excel? Here's part four of my 12 part series on charts. Our data is fairly simple. We've got our sales representatives right here, Andy, Dwight, Jim, Karen, Phyllis, and Stanley. And then we've got their quarterly revenue in our columns with a total for each sales rep and then a total for each column. So let's add a bar chart right here. If we just come in here and click the insert and come down here to this bar or column chart option, you can see that there are several options within, within this section. The difference between a column and a bar chart is just the direction of the actual graph. You can see that for a column, it's going to create this, this column, and for a bar, it creates this vertical bar. I often use bar and column kind of interchangeably, and really anything that you do in a column chart, you can do in a bar chart and vice versa. So we'll stick with looking at the column chart. And if we just select this first option right here for a clustered column, what you'll notice is because we didn't select our data, it's actually pulling in these total rows. So it's, it's kind of skewing our data because it's got this, this total section right here. One way to change that is to just select the graph and then just use your mouse to change the data reference. So now it's not including that total anywhere and we can move on. Another thing just to show a little bit more, this is where you might want to select your data and that way that total column and row won't, won't ever be graphed. So let's look a little bit at what we have here. What we have is some columns that are grouped by sales rep and then the columns themselves represent a quarter. So the blue quarter is for the first quarter, orange for the second quarter, gray for the third, and quarter four is this yellow color. This view would be good for focusing on the sales rep's performance over time. So you can see which quarter in particular is, is the best for each sales rep. But let's say that you wanted to focus on the quarter instead. Here's where the switch rows slash columns button comes into play. So with our chart selected, we can click this button right here. And what that does is it's basically turned our groups from sales reps into quarters, and it's changed our columns from quarters into sales reps. So it's basically just flipped this chart so that we're showing different things. Now the blue bar represents Andy, and you can see the, his performance over each quarter. So depending on what you wanna focus on or what you're trying to show in this chart, you may need to click this switch row and column button. So let's look at a few formatting changes that we can do with this graph right here. If you select one of the bars in the graph, it will select all of the bars in that series. So we, we selected this blue bar right here and it selected all of those blue bars as well. If you click one more time, it will actually just select that individual blue bar right there. And then depending on what's selected, you can make different changes. So let's select this blue right here and right click and you can quickly change the fill color just, just through this menu right here. We'll make it this mint green. And again, if you wanted to change all of Dwight, you would just select one. But if you wanted to just select Dwight's first quarter, you can click twice on it and then we could just change the fill for that one quarter altogether. Now in this case, it doesn't really make sense to do that because Dwight is still showing up as that orange color. And so it doesn't make a lot of sense to only change one of his bars. So we'll undo that. Another thing that you can do is you can right click on a bar and click this format data series option. 
And here is where you're going to get some additional options for changing the graph. It defaults to this series options section. And really the thing that I use right here is just this gap width. So if you want to make the bars skinnier or bigger, you can change this. We'll change it to a 0% and you can see that it, it made the bars wider. You could also make them skinnier. It just kind of depends on, on what you want to show here with this fill in this fill in line section right here. You can fill the bars like we, like we saw, you can change the color through this menu as well. You could add a gradient, a picture, uh, a picture or a texture. So you can even add like a, a picture, a picture from a file that you have, or you can search for stock images. We'll select this, this one right here, and it won't be super interesting because it's all squished together. Uh, but you may have like, I've, I've used this, to put in like a, a company logo or something like that, where I've formatted the, the image so it actually looks good in a bar unlike this one. And then, like I said, there's, there's a lot of other options here, adding shadows and glows. And um, here's where you can change the picture options if, if that's an option. And then obviously things like double clicking on any text, you can change the chart title, quarterly sales. And, and those are the basics of a bar or column chart. Just for fun, we'll select our data again and show what a bar chart would look like. Again, it's just kind of flipped on its side a little bit. And you can do the same thing and change the rows and columns. So just a matter of personal preference, which thing you think looks better.